Read Isaiah 42, my dear Christian friends. Read Isaiah 42. Would you, would you want to read it for me? And you have your Bible? Yeah. Look up. Read, come on, Muhammad. Read it for us now, yeah? So this is another reason why I should believe in Muhammad? Absolutely. His theology is going to get destroyed now, watch. Behold my servant whom I uphold, my elect, one in whom my soul delight. I have put my spirit upon him. He will bring forth justice to the Gentiles. He will not cry out, nor raise his voice, nor cause his voice to be heard in the street. A bruised reed he will not break, a smoking flax he will not quench. He will bring forth justice for the truth. He will not fail, nor be discouraged. Till he has established justice in the earth, and the coastlands shall wait for his law. Thus say the God to Lord, who created the heavens and struck them out, who spread forth the earth and that which come forth, who gives breath to the people in it, and spirit to those who walk on it. I, the Lord, have called you in righteousness. Right? So now that goes on. Yes, right. So now, before we get. I'll skip. Wait, we'll skip. Okay. No, you read oh, cool. from Okay, be patient now. So, what was it? I, the Lord, have called you into righteousness and will hold your hand and will keep you and give you as a covenant to the people, as a light to the Gentiles, to open blind eyes, to bring out prisoners from the prison, those who sit in darkness from the prison house. I am the Lord. Know my praise. Nor my praise to carp images. Behold, the former things have come to pass, and new things I declare before they spring forth. I tell you of them. Sing to the Lord a new song, a new song, and his praise from the ends of the earth. You who go down to the sea and all that is in it. You coastlands and you inhabitants of them, let their wilderness and its cities lift up their voice, the villages that Kedar inhabits. Listen to this. Let the wilderness and its cities lift up their voice, the villages that Kedar inhabits. Shall I continue? Sure. Let the inhabitants of Sela, Sela sing. Let them shout from the top of the mountains. Let them give glory to the Lord and declare his praise in the coastlands. The Lord shall go forth like a mighty man. Amen. He shall stir up his zeal like a man of war. He shall cry out, yes, shout aloud. aloud. He shall prevail against these enemies now i can go on but let's for the sake of argument let's stop here this here is a prophecy of someone to come my question is this who fits this description jesus jesus, jesus. right now a couple of things couple of things couple of things yeah you says jesus now he says the person will come to the inhabitants of who kedar who is kedar Arabs, Arabs, Arabs. Arabs. In the Mount of Salah. Where is that? Where? Medina. Who, who established a new song? It says, sing to the Lord a new song. A Sharia. He will come with a new law. Who came with a new law after Jesus? Of the Mount? Huh? Muhammad Sallallahu Did Jesus bring a new law? No, he said, I did not come to abolish the law, I came to fulfill the law of who? Of Moses. So he is from Kedar, he will bring a new law, he will overcome his enemies. You believe that Jesus was killed by his enemies. Okay, I listen to you. Man. You read the whole scripture. Look, man. Um, okay. Um, I don't even know where to begin here. Hey, go on, man. No, it, it's you, not, can't, you can't refute no, no, no. it, man. Dude. No, it's just you can't so. Refute no, 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 it's not even that. Who was from Kedar? Okay, hey, Hamid, are you going to listen to me? Are you going to listen to me? Like, let's okay. learn, man. Just hold on, man. I, 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 I don't even know where to go. No, not because it's not easy to talk about. You can't refute it, baby. It's just. 
Okay, I just can't believe you picked that scripture because it's so. What did you think I was gonna say? Okay. I don't know, man. Uh, yeah, maybe. But you know. But anyway, the point is, look.